<laughs> it's official. November 12th, man. The lineup is out. Yes, sir. What do you guys think? I'm excited. I'm excited. What do you think? I'm excited too. About the lineup? Mamito. Every, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly very excited about Mamito. That's the one that was just like... When I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I sent that work to Mamito, her response was, it's giving Kichwa too. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go shave in your own house. Why, what the fuck are you going to get waxed for? Okay, my OGK, my angles. Yeah. I'm with so, Chucky. I'm with Chucky. Yeah. And now I'm going, I'm, going to show, I'm, I'm going to show my dick to someone else to wax me. Blocker, you're the only dude I know who waxes. What? <laughs> the one thing I'm sure about hoes, they keep switching town, towns depending on how old they're the getting. Really? Yeah. Damn. So they still get, they still... They still do the business, but in different towns depending on their age. Their age. Damn, an 80-year-old, man. <laughs> Randomly. Yeah. What's well, that? I can <laughs> Over 26. This is the Fraga Podcast. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Fraga The mics are cool. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. What up, my name is Chaxi V, yeah, Mastermind, your main guy, V, yeah. Lord Chaxi, the guru from Mariah is around, the amazing Mars is around, the whole gang is around, episode 107, we are Mark Chuck! What up? Yo, I don't know how I feel mm-hmm. about the fact that Musaki was here for almost an entire week, and Ernest didn't, didn't say anything, like, why do you hate me, bro? You signed an NDA? Yeah, I did. <laughs> ah, you can't break yes, the law man. for us. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> even like, for an the, entire week, bro. Chucky, even on the law, like, Mars come to. <laughs> but I thought Chaxi you knew. You know Chaxi you're very connected with like, these things. Uh, okay, I, I, knew, I knew that was going to be the thing. Yeah. But I didn't know Msaki was part of it. Mm. Like I knew some of the guys who... Um, I thought it was just going to be the guys who recorded the colors. And bro, trust, she's amazing. She's she looks amazing. Me. Trust, like when she came, the energy was just different. What does she smell like? Oh Lord, here we go. How do I... Sasa smell... Of course, she smells Flowery. nice. Flowery... How does she sound like when she talks? Like, hand me some tissue. Um, how do I say it? Respectful, mm-hmm. but also very chill. Yeah, okay. Yeah, in a in a sort of demanding way. Yeah, and you guys yeah. just left Msaki with Drake. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like, for real. <laughs> you all left Msaki with Drake. I'm knowledge to to sour. So, Rick actually asked Msaki. Oh. Like, oh. If, <laughs> He can talk to black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the conversations that <laughs> yeah, courtesy of you guys. So you know what Musaki did? He recorded Drake. Rick explained himself talking to black coffee, <laughs> the way he loves him, the way he started this thing because of him, mm-hmm. just confessing his emotions to black coffee. And then Musaki took the video and yeah. it's gonna show to black coffee. And then, oh, and then Rick, and then uh, Rick, I think Rick was telling Musaki about. His favorite, so, yeah, favorite, favorite song, and he yeah, fucked it up. Yeah. And, <laughs> and he sing his boy, okay? He sing his song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Rick, <laughs> what does Rick think? <laughs> Misaki is like, I love that song. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. It's a good song. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Uh, oh, man, uh, I, have, I have a question for our new segment. Oh, Fuck, Lord. I don't want to mess it up. What does Rick think? <laughs> <laughs> where, do, why, where do old hoes go? Where do? Old, old hoes go. Old hoes. Yeah. I'm struggling to understand. Do you mean like old people used to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> old prostitutes. Where do oh. they go? <laughs> so they retire. <laughs> now they do it for fun. <laughs> That's an interesting question. I saw that. I saw that. I think on the Breakfast Club or something. Mm-hmm. I think they're just uh, having fun about it. Like where do old ho- ho- hoes go? So like any other job, you retire. Damn. Mama. I've never thought about it. That's... No, you have to speak on the mic. That's... <laughs> huh. Tafari, you seem to have an opinion. In in Kenya, this is in, huh? in Kenya, the most successful who's marry white people and leave the country. Yeah. No! Mm-mm. That's a nice exit strategy. <laughs> Just find one person you'll... Why white Zuri? people? Because they have the, the, the chums. No, they, they, really, they really don't be giving a fuck, though. Mm. Literally. I think old hoes go to old towns. The one thing I'm sure about hoes, 
they keep switching town, towns depending on how old they're the getting. Really? Yeah. Damn. So they still get, they still... They still do the business, but in different towns depending on their age. Their age. Damn, an eight-year-old, man. <laughs> Randomly. Yeah. What's well, you? <laughs> Had to be <laughs> to Is that something you fantasize about? Like being with an old person? No, never. Okay. No, that's why it's uh, the, bre- bre- the breakfast club guys are discussing it. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh shit. I just don't want to get, get head from someone who takes away their dentures. Nah, bro. Eight, eight years, no, eight years old. I feel like size is, I, just, I still have too much energy for an eight year old. What are you for? You don't want to call the police and an ambulance. You're recording a statement at a police station because you're horny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put her in missionary. <laughs> now we're putting her to rest. <laughs> <gasps> ah, it's official. November twelfth, man. The lineup is out. Yes, sir. What do you guys think? I'm excited. I'm excited. What do you think? I'm excited too. About the lineup? Mamito. Every, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly very excited about Mamito. That's the one that was just like... When I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I sent that work to Mamito, her response was, it's giving Kichwa to... <laughs> <laughs> She's it's gonna crazy. Be fire. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be nice. Uh, she's so excited. Man. That was Tafari's idea. Of just nice. the heads. Mama? No, because that's like our brand. We just bubble heads. Okay. So yeah. And also just sense. didn't make sense to have... I don't I don't like posters with faces Bodies. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So the the head thing is also in line with the head is faces. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Please, guys, bubble heads are our brand. Let's let's not. Someone, someone texted me and told me the show is very sexual because of Chaxi. True. What do you mean? The, what? Yeah. Sexual? Yeah. Bro, we literally talked about Israel and Gaza. Mm-hmm. What is sexual about that? Okay, I was gonna ask why, why? Why didn't you guys? You guys didn't seem concerned whether I got head in Kigali or not. Who? I don't care, honestly. For real? <laughs> so After all the church of my Dubai, we don't expect any more. So it's whatever. Did you get yeah. head in Kigali? <laughs> also, now you wanna know? <laughs> no, tell us. We insist to show. I know. What do you mean? No, I want Did to you find a Kigali to nyonya your kikicho. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you've brought it on the table. <laughs> no. no, we are taking it. I'm snatching it off the table, please. It was a business trip, Mas. Oh, yeah. So, so it paid. was a professional No pleasure. Trip. So you paid. <laughs> <laughs> so you found, you found an old hole <laughs> in an old town. <laughs> uh, but bro, that place is clean, man. Like, yeah. It, it's insane. It doesn't make sense. No, how, do, how clean Kigali Wednesday is. Every Wednesday, apparently, they have a cleaning thing. No, um, mm-hmm. Every last Saturday of the month. It's Saturday? But the town is cleaned every day. Bro, I didn't see a single piece of paper on the road. Like, nothing. Mm-hmm. So, okay, now work. It works. It works. In overwork. Like, it's so clean. It's insane, bro. Like, it's cleaner than this studio. Damn. It's, it's cleaner than your house. Mm-hmm. And I've been to your house a bunch of times. <laughs> The way I left it today. <laughs> First of all, I think there is people in every room. Missy, Missy, and be even more. But yo, but, but the clubs. Uh-huh. You, you see these dance challenges, the TikToks. Mm. That's how they dance. A song comes up. I swear. Okay, bro. it's giving step up too. Like we're well, born up in a dancing up a club. Yeah, bro. Like, have you no, seen that one? Like, yeah, the like, water. Why? No, I didn't see that. But the, like the Diamond Juke song mm-hmm. came up in the club, bro. They are all dancing to the same routine. How much are alcohol prices? The new um, Arya Star record. Yeah, oh Everyone Lord. in the club. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, God. Fanya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is that Arya Star? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that not thingy? What's his name? No, the new, it's part of um, the, new, the, new, the new record she's On putting TikTok. out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I want to dance to you. But the women are beautiful. Oh, my God. They're tall. Tall and beautiful. I am going back to Kigali, bro. Actually, me, I'm, me, I'm packing my things and leaving. I go start Bye. a new life. It's when the casual. Bye. I'm after the live recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. End that after casual. We got it. Bye. Ah, uh, bro, but it's just, it's insane. Genuinely, how clean that place is. Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And it's not like I was in one spot because I was doing like a market visit. So I was all over the place mm. and everywhere was clean. 
super clean. I'm like, when do they even clean this place? You never saw them cleaning? No, I never saw anyone clean. But the most weird thing is that every 400 meters, there's always two cops standing by the road, just standing, doing nothing. Watching. Every 400 meters, there's two cops. Every 400 meters, there's two cops on all the roads. Bro, there's cops everywhere. Then at night, now there's armed cops. Wow. So every same, same spots, but now they have like my like uh, AK 47s. Mm. I'm like, why? So to keep it secure. <laughs> to watch out for littering. <laughs> <laughs> and things work. Street, yeah. uh, street lights work. Everywhere is well lit at night. Mm -hmm. I didn't see a single pothole. In all the roads I went to, not a single pothole, bro. Not even one. In all the roads I went to. And they don't have highways. Highways? I didn't see highways. They just have like proper Kawaii roads. Daru, yeah, yes. Just kawaii the roads. It's been told because it's a very hilly area. Like they don't have like straight roads. Yeah. You're either going, always going uphill or downhill. Mm. Wow. And everywhere around you is a hill. hill. So you can imagine at night, the views are sick. Crazy. Like, crazy. Did you man. leave Kigali? You were there full time. No, I was in Kigali full time. Mm. For, for like the... Nakuruyao. No, I didn't. I didn't go to it. I didn't go. But... I was told all the towns are just that clean. Wow. Yeah. Like, everywhere is just clean. That's impressive. Um, and streetlights work. Uh, <laughs> this is for Sakaja. Streetlights work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, drainage. The, what, uh, drainage. Drainage works. Drainage works. I didn't see anywhere. And it was raining as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't see any flooded, flooded roads. roads. If you don't see any floods, the drainage works. Yeah, the drainage works. Yeah. Um, what, what is the thing? Um, what is it? The, the robots for the road, what are they called? There's robots for the road. Yeah, the, see the robots for green... Street lights. Traffic lights. Traffic lights work. Those are what you're calling robots. But they're, they're called robots. robots as well. They're robots, yes. Yeah, we've discussed this before. <laughs> and we back and we verified. <laughs> so they so work. Every road they mean? work. Zebra crossings work. There's pedestrian paths everywhere. It's very safe. Cycling? Like, yeah, guys, bro, you're leaving the club at night. Women are just walking to their houses wow. and it's fine. Because there's cops everywhere. Oh, What's going to happen to you, bro? Meters, yeah, 24-7. Yeah, you like you feel safe, bro. You walk in, you feel safe. It's beautiful. So, but they drive, they drive on, they drive on the yeah. right side. So each beach? time we, we we were getting into a corner, I felt like we we're gonna get into an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's so confusing. Do you know? It's you know, so confusing. I'm all, I'm always afraid of getting. Okay, I wanna get an international driving license. Yeah. But I'm always afraid of the first time I'll drive like in a place where they drive on the right side. It was really? so confusing. Bro. Yeah. Especially Even junctions. A car that you're on the right side. Yeah, yeah that's you know? a bit the car, they, The driver seat is on the left. It's on the mm -hmm. left, and yeah. then they drive on the right side of the road. Yeah, that's yeah, it gets so, Bro, so, so you're using your Think right about how you get drive. into a roundabout from the right yeah. side. It's so confusing, yeah. It's literally the polar opposite, <laughs> yeah. but it's completely opposite. It's complicated. Yeah. And the guys were like, yeah. we drive on the right side of the road. Mm. We drive we on the wrong side, side of, of the road. road. Yeah. Mm. Yeesh. Yeah, but Kigali was beautiful, man. But the women. <sighs> <laughs> I told you, professional. I was on a professional, <laughs> a professional trip. <laughs> so I'm doing my best behavior. Did you I, have fun? Did you like walk around? No, it's beautiful. Yeah, I went out every night. Okay. Literally. Not yeah. for work, as in <laughs> for own things. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too. Stories for another day. Okay. So I saw this on um, Ellie's um, Instagram. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a picture of a lawyer and a client mm -hmm. consulting. <laughs> and then the caption read, so the lawyer was telling the client, allow them to hang you, God will deal with them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> allow them to hang you, God will deal with them. Because, <laughs> you know, most times, the lawyer always knows how the case is going to end at some point. Yeah. So, since you're a father, you the to say, oh, God God will deal with them. I was like, this is giving Rick. <laughs> It's giving David. It's called David Monda. Brian. Brian Monda. Yeah. Brian Monda, yeah. Mm. I could be behind bars. I'm going on a long holiday. This is tragic. I'm going to get to my zero. I'm apple. In the, in the midst of your legal um, downfall, yeah. you're hanging out with Songo. Yeah. <laughs> Someone who faked his own death checks. <laughs> Song could be such a dope episode. I was literally speaking to someone <laughs> about a possibility uh, of having Song on the show. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I think he'd be interested. He'd be keen. I'm like, Definitely. okay, cool. Oh, let's, see. Mm. let's set it up. <laughs> yeah, I'll be on the camera. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> that one and your big boy Sakaja. 
That's fine. Then I saw, ah, let's get into Mwangi's dad. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> this is becoming a thing I now. I a missed call from him. I need to call him back. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So this is Mwangi on Twitter. <laughs> Which one is which one are you reading? There's first? a bunch of them. I have three okay. actually. Okay. Um, so the first time we installed this is Mangi tweeting. <laughs> so the first time we installed Wi-Fi at the house, I told my dad, no, I have, I have to read this because it was a bunch of <laughs> let me find it. Yeah. Let me find the one that had what hey. corner, I forgot my password. You know, I figured out it's been seven years of paying Wi-Fi in that house. Ever mm-hmm. since that day. You're twenty seventeen. Black tax lazima, mm-hmm. man. Let me and I've tried them to, to I've tried to get them to pay it. They're like, nah, so when do you like it? Found it. Uh-huh. So Mwangi goes. Um, so the first time we installed Wi-Fi at the house, I told my dad to switch off his mobile data because he wouldn't need it anymore. Yeah. That night, he called me from the bar asking why he's not receiving any WhatsApp messages, <laughs> and we paid for the damn Wi-Fi at home. <laughs> <laughs> so I started explaining to him how a router has similar range. Um, implications as a campfire. The closer you are, the warmer you feel. Mm-hmm. So about the route, I asked. Sasa nikitaka was up, lazima ni bebe hiki tu kwa gari. True story, by the way. So I tell him to politely sip his whiskey. Akifika nyumbani, we shall go over internet one-on-one. So the next day was <clears throat> interesting. He wakes, he, wakes, <laughs> he wakes up before me because he has to complain about me oversleeping and bolts into my room. It was a Saturday banner. Hiki tu yako, Unashinda ukisema wireless na mtu akitoka kwa nyumba haifanyi kwani mnaturudisha siku za landline because na your dad is a <laughs> you know, have you ever Love been asked you. a question that makes sense but doesn't make sense because he's asking me igari ushaisikia nimekwambia ni ya nyumba ukitoka nayo kwa nje tumia matatu i'm like no <laughs> The context is very different i'm like yeah so and then he started forwarding messages on whatsapp all the videos now you know he downloads everything and then he was excited about WhatsApp group. I think only old people are excited about WhatsApp groups. Yeah. Ati tumeye kwa ingine hapa yaka function. Lakini function imeisha na hatu siki kutoka. Tuna share uko tu. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> Yo. Even, even the, you know, they used, they used to put the list of people who've paid for service charge for the estate. Mm-hmm. For security, cleaning, and all that. Mm-hmm. So apparently there's some guys who just don't pay. And then they get pissed off and they get to the gate and the watch is like, nimambwa ni sikufungulia mlango. So the guy gets off his car, opens the gate, and then drives in, closes the gate, gets into his house. And he's like, Na unajua anakuwaga mtu mkubo huko kwa serikali, na 1500 per month amekata. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait for a dad <laughs> to come on the pod. <laughs> we said episode 200? Yeah. 500. No, let's do 250. Let's do 500. That's how he's going to be down. <laughs> Never too long sleeping. <laughs> uh, and then, then you guys have to behave. We'll, especially. we'll try. You. Especially. <laughs> and he. <Nah. laughs> oh, I'm going to have so much fun with that. Handcuffs is a me good. I'm an electric shock. I'm going to have a Yeah. Hey, pops, man. Then, mm-hmm. then this is Mwangi's dad again. Oh, so, <laughs> Mwas is treating. Siku moja, nitawambia vile tuliwekewa DSTV kwetu. Alafu old man was surprised it's a subscription service. Na hivyo tu ndo tulibaki na decoder kama decoration. <laughs> <laughs> I think our decoder is still there by the way. <laughs> so, he, so he thought to install it to one, pay one, 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 one off and then have you have... Because it service. was expensive. I can't remember the amount but it was not kidogo. <laughs> yeah. And then during December holidays when they had those Christmas campaigns. Yeah. Compact. Yeah, they had like offers. Like just get the decoder and then we'll install it for you for free. One month free, all that. Where to live for your Afokamba sasa ni kulipia ndo muone. Na haula. Alafu alikuwa kila mwezi. Kanambia hapa mmefanya nipoteze pesa. No? That's it. By the way, and you can return it. True. It's yours so now. So me told myself that oh we're going to work hard and we're going to pay for it ourselves me and my bros. Yeah. Na fika end month mna changa mko na thao. And compact didn't even have the channels you want. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> My family's uh, interaction with DSTV was interesting because there's a time we went to my cousin's house and they had the full premium. Back at the one, you can rewind. So that was PV, the PVR, PVR decoder. Yes. Mm. So I remember we were watching Idols and then my aunt was so happy with how someone had sung, how badly someone had sung. Mm. I'm like, hey, watch an yoni yote and I rewinded. <laughs> my mom was like, una rewind TV! <laughs> 
And then just looked at my dad with those eyes. You need Sassy. to work harder. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first interaction with Kivya. I was like, Adam. Damn, like it's a real thing. But it's a real thing. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? What do you that mean? Was, Wait for reruns. Yeah. Uh, talking of, <laughs> of TV. So... Nairobi Gossip uh, posted petition to bring back Tasca Project Fame. Oh my. <laughs> and they posted a few clips. Okay. So I'm going to play a few clips of Doesn't the audition. <laughs> <laughs> Let me play you the first clip of the audition. Uh, <laughs> so, how? this is Mangi's cousin. <laughs> how? How could we go on? It was so gone, but now it's gone. <laughs> And I realize that <laughs> someone cries, won't I be a lie? Because you're me in my mind. You'll always be in my life, even if I'm not in your life, because you're my memory. Mm-hmm. Somebody's me. Mm-hmm. Somebody's me. Mm-hmm. Somebody's me. That song doesn't even go in your Somebody's me. <laughs> then he has a, a placard of a heart emoji. Somebody's me. Do you have a phone call? Yes, that somebody is you and I will remember that's, you. I assure you. That's the first one. Na- then there's this guy. Kweli Musa, Uliponi Yowa, Nili Nono. Kamanguru we ya kario banki. I feel like they used to place this place yeah. just as community. How do you think yeah. they used to? No, one of my cousins auditioned one time and it was yeah. horrible. Oh, yeah. It's been a sad week. It's good that you believe in yourself. And you? I'm sorry, Joe. I have to vote no. I'm also voting no. <laughs> you entertain me, but no. Then there's yeah. something to say after. I like how you walked out. They tell me I'm an entertainer. <laughs> uh, not a singer. But at least I have a talent. I'm an entertainer. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Another one. Really? Okay. He's doing Michael Jackson. It's almost midnight. Something <laughs> What's your is popping me? from the door. <laughs> Another morning really? night. She is starting almost touching hot. <laughs> you just scream. Tell <laughs> Take it something for you make it. <laughs> Just stop the beast. So I look at you during night. Hey. You better die. You will hear the dogs bark. <clears throat> Can't you see that no one has to worry? <laughs> You'll be the cold. <laughs> cold. <laughs> Thank that if you ever see the storm. You take your eyes, <laughs> hold the the present desolation. So yeah. You're on the shine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Where does it go? And this is And this is Are you ever in a position where someone is singing like that? No, like, oh, hey, 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 But they've paid for studio time. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. Rika, I'm a I cannot ask Rika and Zambia to come out. I can see where this is going. We'll work on it. I think I have one more. Can we get one more audition? Michael? Huh? Now, John, this is it. I gotta go now. John, I gotta go. I gotta go, John. Take it over now from here, John. I gotta go. Jesus! Don't cry for me now. What? I mean, I'm going to bless the new world. Don't cry for me now. I mean, I'm going to bless the new world. Don't cry for me. Don't cry for me now. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry for me now. You make us fall in love, fall in love, oh, fall in love. Now who the better? Is the master's body? That's the girl, ma. Jesus. The chef, if it doesn't. You need to go down here. Don't worry, you want to go down here. Don't worry, you want to go down here. Don't worry, you want to go down here. <laughs> you know what I think they should do? Take a look at who entertain. They should bring TPF back, but only with bad Old singers. pirates, yes, they robbed I. <laughs> sold I to the merchant sheep. <laughs> Minutes after they <laughs> took <laughs> <out. laughs> Introduce yourself, please. My name is Nderito. Do you really speak that high? Yes. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Mara ya mwisho nani anaweza imba? Mimi naweza imba. Okay, go. Yo mko si yangu lakini kutwende tu. Opendo lenga mungai ni ese sure. Hiyo ndo ni yanani? Ni yangu. Hiyo ndo ni yako? Eh. Chukua ndo uende nao ndani, uende ufanyie kazi where you belong. You can't sing. Where's Mara ya mwisho nani anaweza? <laughs> yeah, might bring back TPF with all the bad singers. <laughs> Imagine all those guys put them in a room for one month. Z. Z. And we eliminate based on who sings well. <laughs> so it's a reverse TPF. Nah. Bro, the confidence though. Like how 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 much do you live in your head to comfortably go do that thriller audition? Somebody no, but that guy auditioned like I don't know how every TPF he was every season. <laughs> yes, he always auditioned. <laughs> Then when you watch the video so the judges are anticipating the hook <laughs> then takes a pause takes a pause maybe like I said I'll gonna excuse you gonna anyway so <laughs> question right mm-hmm. um when it comes to social issues like Israel and Palestine right yeah. do you guys care what celebrities think like Sometimes. do you care that they need to put, put out a statement say something you don't need to put out a statement but if you mm. decide to put out a statement mm. now that's when they start caring because if you say something that's ignorant or stupid i'm looking at mm. you like so now as the war is going on you could in the back of your mind you're like i wonder what come and go things not quite mm. i really don't care what you think but if you decide to tell me what you think <laughs> yeah. now i'm looking at <laughs> you <Better sus>. think. <laughs> you yeah. left you think you're right <laughs> yeah Yeah, because you can tell like all the Hollywood celebrities have just been told to put out a statement. Yeah, you see them on Instagram. You're like, ah, this is your company, am I your company's company? Or your yeah. agent was like, you need to say LeBron something. LeBron has to weigh in. Le- mm. Otherwise, once at that one, I was just yeah. like, imagine. I think it's very wow. disappointing when you see your idols just be ignorant because of the check. <laughs> But also for me, I don't necessarily think like I don't think they they have to. You know, mm-hmm. like for instance, like now nah, I'm not worried about what Calligraph thinks about. You know about exactly. Yeah, but if Calligraph decides <laughs> yeah. he wants to let us know what he think, yeah. you best be thinking. So yeah, I'm standing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yo mana kuti. I don't know why OG is ducking us, but he'll come. <laughs> standing with Palestine. <laughs> which, which is the right way to stand, by the way. <laughs> but I'm like. So then where 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 does um I mean because we've spoken about just the responsibility that comes with you know certain positions that people occupy mm-hmm. um but also I know you everyone can have an opinion about something right mm-hmm. but then some, some some of the times it's okay also not just have an opinion mm. true and if you're ignorant enough just don't speak exactly you don't have to cuz most of cuz most of what I've seen um like um Kenyan celebrities. Uh, okay, I've said I think Kenyan I've, I'd give it to the Kenyan celebrities mostly in just in regards to how they've um addressed the whole Israel thing. Which mm-hmm. ones? Most of them. Like I haven't I haven't seen absurd like I've seen I've actually seen absurd comments from uh, celebrities from other countries like okay. especially from the US. Like okay. the LeBron one, LeBron was Yeah, I mean, that, that I was took like, me what? yeah, I was like, "Bro, really?" Yeah. I can tell he was cornered into posting it. Conard. You're LeBron, bro. Come on, Conard. like genuinely. Yeah. You're fucking Conard. LeBron, man. If you say man. no, you need not talk fanya. Like you're fucking uh, LeBron, see, man. See, they're, they're thinking about the bag, bro. Some things are bigger than. I'm the not bag. saying I support like, them, like, yeah. but like I understand how they got to that point. They still should have taken a stand, but you don't. Think you can take a stand, but yeah. it comes out to your own conscious. You're like, do, do I want to do this? Exactly. Do I really care about this this much? You don't think media and propaganda contribute to? Yeah. Some of them genuinely believe that Israel um are being in, in, yeah. invaded by yeah. uh you don't think also the media has a role media, of course it does because the the because uh-huh. the media paints these other guys as, as terrorists mm. funny video i saw on tiktok um this guy um he's from palestine and he has the palestinian flag on his bio and i think alhamdulillah you know because something like that so when you translate it mm the Palestinian flag translates to Palestinian terrorist. I was like, why would Instagram do that? Mm. When you translate the flag? Yes. Uh-huh. And the Arabic writing, yeah. mm. it translates to Palestinian terrorist, then praise be to Allah. And he was like, why would Instagram do that? Yeah. Because there's even reports of Meta like 
uh, the positive news about Palestine yeah. is being um, held back by Meta. And then the negative news is being like, make a make a media behind it. Like if there's a negative article, it will be seen more than a positive, the, a positive one. one. Yeah. yeah. Oof. I'm trying to get... Ta -da -da -da. So Will Smith broke his silence, guys. Mm. <laughs> I also need you to break your silence. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, I'm trying to get a clip of Jada and Fat Joe. I didn't even know Fajo interviews people. He do. He does. He's amazing. He's hilarious. He's, 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 I love him. So this is nice. uh, uh -huh. Jada and Fajo, right? You know, I'm super proud. Okay, there we go. You know, I know you're proud of, the, uh, of your kids. I am. Yeah. I'm super proud of them. All of them. And they, and they all support you. And Absolutely. And book. And Absolutely. They're not worried about you. Uh, no, nah, because they see, I mean, they've lived this with us. Mm. And so they've seen, um, they've seen the journey, and they love it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so they love it. Well, because me and Will, we are in such a good place. How are you? That's not what the tabloids yeah, say. No, but that's the tabloids. Oh. And so everybody's sticking to, you know, we split up. We've been separated. So it's like... So they're running with it. They're running with that. I'm just like, we have... Been separated, but guess what? After the Oscars, we are back together. We came back to a whole place. That little thing, boy, he got he got a little gangster there. He said, "Yo, well, you know, I'm about to take you back." But you know, I know you're proud of it. I'm about to take you back, Will. We did so much healing together. You know, and after that, it was like. This is when this is this is when you really show up. And then the Tupac soulmate and all that. He was Ooh. cool. Who said did I, did I Oh, it's out there. It's out there. <laughs> I said he was my soulmate? That's what they saying, you said. Where? That's all over. Where? Where is it? You gotta read the book. You gotta, you read, gotta the book. read the book. I know, I'm gonna so listen that to people the book. Are, see, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> whatever they want out there. Me and first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell you right now. Read the section in the book. It's pretty clear. Yeah, it's very clear in the book. Me and Pop were never an item. Oh! Never, Joe! No, that's breaking news. <laughs> that's the problem. See, that's the problem with me. People make too many assumptions uh -huh. because I be trying to keep stuff close to the well, chest. Right. You want to know what? Up to now, that was a great part of your mystique, too. That people thought, you know, was See, I'm about to take, I'm about to take it. is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> like after the Oscar slap. Down, but, huh? I just sat down, Nama. How yeah, they they're just chilling here. Yeah. Okay. Just, just sat down. But it's, it's like... <laughs> They're just unboxing shoes the and, whole situation. Yeah, and doing whatever. Yeah. So Will Smith bro, broke his silence. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, um, I think he said he'll... What did he say? Well, uh, Jada is his best friend. He's never going to leave her. Which got me thinking. Mm -hmm. By the time the book is coming out, of course Will has read it. Yeah. I mean, maybe he doesn't know exactly what's going to go into the final. But he knows whatever is going to go into the mm -hmm. book. So when everyone, when there's outrage and whatnot, really is just... He's chilling. Yeah. Who's going to read the book on, on behalf of everyone? <laughs> Please. Someone. No. <laughs> Why? I'll pass. Do you read books, actually? I do. Don't I do. Let's hear the snippets. <laughs> Amma will just find them online. Yeah. Luckily, people will read the book. The book is out already, right? If I'm not wrong. Chilling I think it's there. out. I think the book is out, actually, yeah. Well, I will take one for the team, but... Um, <laughs> Hmm. I'll buy you a highlighter. <laughs> no, no. I read books on my phone, so yeah. I'll be good. Mm, but I'm bad. struggling reading books. Why? I don't know, man. I don't even know the last book I read. It's been a while. Are you serious? Yeah. Physical books, I'm like... Physical books. Mm -hmm. I'm not good with e-books. No, I'm not, I'm not good books. with physical books. I'm yeah. good with e-books. I prefer opposite. physical books. I think you should get into Audible. Mm. Audio books? Aud audio books would, be, would help you, man. Cause it's like I don't, podcast. I don't. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it loses that touch. Like, cause what I read, I want to imagine. Like, I literally want to be fully immersed in the book. Listening mm -hmm. what takes is, away what from Trevor it. Book called Bona Crime. Mm -hmm. I listen to it on Bona Crime. Yes, that's Trevor's. Yeah, Trevor Noah. Okay. So I listened to it on audio. On on audio, I literally bought the link, and but for him it was like, cause it was like one long hour, thirteen hours special. Yeah. Like it was Trevor telling his story. And it was hilarious. Mm. Yeah. I, I have listened to Will Smith's as well. And the one I've read and listened to is Phil Knight, um, Shoe Dog, okay. the one of Nike. Yeah. Yeah. It's also like a nice book. 
Yeah. So I think get into Audible. I'll try. How how do you like just on the? Yeah, I think there's a subscription. Then you get access yeah. to all the books. I think it's like fifteen dollars a month. Okay. Will you pay for me? I will pay for you. Just Thank send you. me the money. Not the card. I will gladly pay. <laughs> so according to KNBS, apparently, Kenyan men spend more time on self care than women, with an average of seven ten minutes weekly, compared to women seven hundred and five minutes. I'm calling it cup. 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 Straight up cup. But what's self care? So like probably going to the salon, barbers, getting, getting your nails, yeah. money. I'm calling it cup, bro. Imagine there's some truth to it. If it's well, I know niggas who get a get... haircut three times a week. So what do you oh, mean? The guys who look fresh all the time. <laughs> Bass. <laughs> David yeah. Brand Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> when is the last time Deno got a pedicure? Do we get a pedicure though? That's the real question. It does? Do you? Yeah, never. Exactly. <laughs> never. Exactly. So, so Ukochini, you have clothes. <laughs> never. <laughs> no, okay. So for you, what, what's, what's your self-care like? Nilkata. <laughs> <laughs> and rolling a joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> hey, but say I told you nowadays, nowadays you can like Kinyozi. The massage is longer than the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> like, guys. It makes sense why self-care is longer <laughs> for men. <laughs> Yeah. What? So you never, bro? Ata kuoshwa mgu. Even a facial. Uh, I will, I will. Lazima ni pesa. Si pesa. Kwa sababu bata kinyozi za mtani siku hizi yako na services. Eee, si kinyozi zetu za mtani. You should have like multiple people attending to your body. It feels very relaxing. True. Yeah. Kuna msa na kuoshwa nyole huko kuna watu wawili huko hivi alafu wengine. Ninge kwa mgu. Oh. Because since ah. since I was put on on uh, to me wellness, mm-hmm. they do house calls. Mm-hmm. Ah, game changer. Yeah, game changer, bro. <laughs> Can you home board? I'm like, just let's get a massage. <laughs> <laughs> they, they come with the table. Yeah. yeah, they come with everything, bro. You you yeah. book online, then they, they send a masseuse to the house with the whole setup. Okay. Yeah. So soon to, soon to me this week, I'm working from home the whole week. Okay. If you you pay for my subscription. Nah. <laughs> <That's straight sour. laughs> Next month on the 30th, you're listening to a book, a ticket. <laughs> and Wait, that's when Will Smith. <laughs> no, I'm actually very curious. Does yeah. any of okay, apart from Denu, is any of you do anything self-care? No. Facials, manicures, yeah. Maurice, what do you do? Which okay. Ones? Many, nothing. Retwists. <laughs> 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 see, a retwist is a form of self. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'd consider like getting a haircut. Mm. A self care, yeah. You know what I mean? Because That's it's normal. just obvious. Yeah. It's normal. Your so, hair grows, you cut it. Yeah. Bus. So I don't honestly I, I feel like this is cap this is a lie. Mm. I don't think there's bra. Women but honestly women spend so much time. When you go to all salons you just see women. women. Like like when so I'm talk, every woman I'm talking to is either like at the salon going to the salon or from the planning salon. To yeah, go, get, planning, planning a, to go to the salon. Getting a wax, it's so true yeah. whatever like it's true. There's no True. way, man. Come on, bro. I'll pay for your wax. If you get a wax for the podcast. <laughs> no, no, I'm, not, I'm not getting a wax. Have you ever waxed nah. your balls? No, no, no. That is weird, <laughs> <man>. shaving it. <laughs> shaving it. How do you shave? Just the zzz. Electric or manual? Electric. Okay. Yeah. Miss Pelangi razors up. You, you, you get waxed? I get waxed. Frequently? Yeah. What do you mean frequently? But That's the only is, way. Up to date, how come they've never figured a less painful way to just wax? Like, there's no technology. Waxing works like this. So, of course, if you're from shaving, your hair is very coarse. So, the first time you wax, of course, it's going to be painful because they have to use a lot of force to pluck it out. So, as you keep waxing, the hair grows very fine. So, like, let's say by the time you're having, like, your fourth session, it's literally, like, boom, 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 done. Yeah, but am I your and, just, and your hair becomes, grows slower. Just, uh, it's yeah, it's a whole science. I love the confidence women have. Yeah, wait, 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 I'm just like no, bro. <laughs> can you imagine like dudes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I they just like they put you on fours and do your yeah. Yani yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah, it's a beauty. Like nothing is going on. Yeah. You know, like to, <laughs> Two centimeters. Like this, they're literally in your ass like this because I have to make sure every. And sometimes you help them spread your cheeks. See, you have no. They, you have to hold it. In, if your bum is too, <laughs> yeah. So you might have to hold, but yeah. Normally, when you just go and force with a good arc, I'm not chapa to story. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, <laughs> no, 
the next day. I want to be him after me punish. Nah, that's that's where the know. conversation in the works. That's the next room. day. You're uh, just there. The conversation is just eh. Babe, the same. You're not going to eat Nikki Dogger. Yeah, that's the conversation. Uh, we you, should, we are should there men who do the waxing? No. I don't think so. Okay. No. That's a creepy career to be in. <laughs> no, There's no way you can tell me you're not a creep. <laughs> <laughs> I wax women. <laughs> this is my first one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's only, it's only nah. women. Yeah. And I'm sure they've seen that bad days because some women are not clean. Yeah. When you talk, when you get trust, why when, don't you just get a shower before you go then? No, so when you hear stories, at, at Tamba, they ask you wipe no, 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 you're told like when you walk in, of course, you're told to take off your clothes. So, these wipes, these if you need hot water, whatever, like clean yourself before, yeah. So, Utapatu and Guinea and Azim. Well, I've had crazy stories like someone came straight from the gym and they're like, they need Aye. to be waxed, yeah, or you didn't clean yourself or you're on your period, like it's, it's madness, Aye. yeah, yeah. It's it's a bigger gunshot, come on, sir. <laughs> yeah, you, you hear stories. So those are the stories that happen when you're being waxed. And then you guys just refer your waxing lady to your next girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You should try, Judy. <laughs> Name gentle. Name gentle. Bus. <laughs> How long does it take? That's what I'm saying. It depends on the texture of your hair. So mm. like for me nowadays, like 15, 20 tops. No, we appreciate what you guys do. We don't. We just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see, mind. Is it twenty out? Yeah. But at the start, yeah, it was like probably forty-five because it was very painful. Forty-five. Mm, because wait, I It's like, bro. Who decides where to start? I'm pit, so one and She decides. Oh, she decides. Which but then I'm like. There, there has to be a bro. Like, there's no way. There's no. They, like, they can't just find a different way. I'm sure there has to be science. Laser. Hair Laser. <laughs> okay. Which is uh, more, more expensive. Permanent. Is that ac- ac- available in Kenya? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's okay. like, but it's permanent. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hair will never grow. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Check that. You're getting ideas. <laughs> Are you gonna start a business? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait. You did post DJ Envy. Like, what's going on there? Thingy, actually, they redid the Breakfast Club. So this is because of so he's been in real estate lately, right? Yes. So apparently, yeah. he's part of the the business is sort of a scam. Yeah. But then the job, uh, the job posting, I thought that was because of Angela, because they're still looking for replacement. True. I don't think that's envious. But that's yeah, I don't think that's what that's what now I saw the story that yeah. they had redid the Breakfast Club, but just they're also investigating Shalamin. Uh Funk Flex just says the most, bro. If if that's from Funk, <laughs> just says the most. Who who raided what and what did they do? The yeah. feds raided um the office at yeah, the breakfast club. Sujet, he also Suji Shalamin is being investigated for Suji and un- mm. underage Suji dealing with underage girls. It was just a mess. Yes, so exactly. yeah. But it's Funk Flex, bro. You know what I mean? Like he, True. he just he, he gets do on be radio and runs. True. Do you think True. it's publicity for something? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's um, this is like, real, real. It's, yeah. real. it's real time. Nairobi were housing on Because like, so like the guys, what are the guys whose houses are being demolished in Athiri for the other day? Yeah. yeah, that's bro, that's crazy. You bought land, you built your house, you've lived there for a couple of years, and then one day you wake up to don't have a house anymore. Don't have a house, sad. But and you don't like, own the land either. And you, yes. Mm. Apparently, I saw that and they were being told, do not buy this don't land. Don't buy this land. This land is not for sale. It's private. So then they were called for a meeting by some con lawyer and they were told, Yo, those are, you know, kuashtua, ninini, just buy the land, do yeah. whatever. So guys did and bloop, here yeah, we are now. I saw someone you know, buy land, you know, buy land, you know, 10 million, you know, 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 the land was that cheap. It was that cheap, yeah. Shit. So someone just made away with the money. Yeah. For sure. And then now the government is saying that after the houses have been demolished, now there's a way they can own the land legally. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. There's a notice out. So why demolish the houses then? It's because East African Portland Cement owns them. The so government. demolish, then now there's a way that they can own... See, we just talk about how I can own the land legally yeah. and leave my house standing. Mm-hmm. Like. But if the court order came before this one, so... Hey, it's giving what would Rick think, because what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Um, Moral of the story, begin with Sharem, buy Shamba. Facts. Yeah, I agree. Facts. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> Invest in waxing. In, <laughs> and self-care, man. Okay, fungo be a share of lazy hair removal. You know, those are one-time clients. Not really. Nah, yeah. Not really. I feel, 
Because it grows back, but like after 10 years. Imagine, not really. Guys are actually actively going for this stuff. It's insane. But if you do it now, when... when guys, you mean like... It's not that you want session and it's done. You have to go for like four. Guys, you mean like, it's like done, dudes. It's done, yeah. I'm talking men, women, and it's for... Not only for down there, kunonenda, for legs, oh, every, yeah. it's arms, back, yeah. it's everything. But so for it's down there, man, like me, I'm, I'm judging all the dudes that do that shit. Like, don't okay. fucking go, go. Go shave in your own house. Why? What the fuck are you going to get waxed for? Like, my OJK, my angles. Yeah. I'm with Chucky. I'm with Chucky. And now I'm going, I'm, going I'm, to show, I'm, I'm going to show my dick to someone else to wax me. Simeon. Blocker, you're the only dude I know who waxes. What? How is the experience? <laughs> yeah. Ah, me, I'm judging all niggas who get waxed, bro. Like, what the fuck? Fucking go shave in your own house. Uh, no, that shit is weird as hell. You, you don't wax? Moss does, bro, which is, I, I think, I, I find it. <laughs> what kind of That's yeah. a lie. Bro, he literally goes, <laughs> checks out his clothes, and there's hey, a nigga no watching. I, I, think that manscaping, I think manscaping is possible. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Manscaping. You What's know, the but, difference? Because manscaping, you're in the shower, you know, you do your shaving, shaving here and there. You're doing it yourself? I, you're doing it yourself. Yeah. I think wax in, you're going there, you're spreading butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Open and there's some show show there. Putting <laughs> wax on your... Show show. <laughs> show show. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Come on, right? Right? Come on. <laughs> nah, me, uh, yeah, I, w- I would never, bro. No, but also, why would you just want to fully shave your balls? That's creepy. Why, why is it creepy? <laughs> no, well, it's true though. Gold but why, why, why do you want to fully uh, shave your balls? Yeah. Ask, you don't? Fully. That's weird. Like, you you give it. Yeah. Like, what happens? Something like, might happen. Like might this. Just... Nah. nah. Bro, like clean like this. Exactly. Yeah. That's My balls weird. clean no. like this. You put it on the one setting. Ile, ile, fine, Kabisa. That's insane. Why? Then you stretch it out. When BN <laughs> said bold men, that was it. <laughs> no, he didn't say bold men. Yeah, bold yeah, yeah, yeah. said bold. So just, you you, you have a fade head. on your dick. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ama, what do you mean, like? So if you're shaving, you're shaving. No. Nah. So, uh, so like how you're uh, slaughtering a chicken, you're there just no. pulling those last this hairs out, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, not your balls, bro. Exactly. You need a bit of hair down there, bro. Why? To, to show that you're grown. Sick on an ID. Unai <laughs> sikwako. How much more grown can you be? Like you're paying rent. <laughs> you, have nah. pin, you have a pin number for carry. <laughs> but, I just feel like it's so weird. I don't. I, I right. can't imagine myself. Completely no hair uh, yeah, it's, on my it's balls. Weird. I agree. I don't even want to ask the next question. Do you show your butt? My butt? <laughs> oh, no, it's... And, bro, it's clean. I don't say it. <laughs> Me, I'm not asking about its cleanliness. <laughs> I uh, have flushable wipes. Okay, can we get out of Chucks' boxes for a minute? Uh, no. Next Wait, topic, you please. shave your butt? No. Well, you niggas shave your butt? What for? Exactly. You, you trim. <laughs> <laughs> how? So, how like, you're bent in a mirror and you're like... <laughs> uh, how how do you do it? Yeah, monkey for real. No, <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> you just sit on a razor blade. <laughs> monkey, you're sick. You're sick. Okay. I'm a lady. Of course, I'm supposed to wax my butt. What do no. you mean? We like it when you guys do it. We just don't understand it. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Complete stranger. And you guys do it as... Do you want your nigga to shave his balls? No. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you want your nigga to there's supposed to be an element of manliness, bro. But you, you, my bum is soft, your bum is soft, so okay. So, but, so when you eat us, hey, who? You. Who? <laughs> you you eat on us, Me? Me? Yeah. Chucky. Are you crazy? <laughs> you remember when guys were saying the show, the show is too sexual? <laughs> this is what they mean. Me? Hiya. Tell me more. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> I'll tell you more. Bro, and so it begins, Ben. Ben's album rollout. Yeah. He's been posting. Have you guys been seeing yeah, that? Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you talking? Yeah. <laughs> the song he posted was it in, like, it was francophone. Yeah. There's like a song on his Instagram, yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, yeah she did something, yeah. And Soul Fest is in two weeks. Yeah. It's in two weeks already, bro. Mm. Soul Damn. Fest kunye back to back. You're dating a record Friday. <laughs> hey, hey. Damn, because Soul Fest <laughs> is Thursday. Saturday. Thursday and Saturday. Oh, yeah. Thursday, uh-huh. Saturday. Yeah, there's two shows. And I think we might be there. Mm. As Mike check, so we'll see. Ooh, ooh. see what's up. We'll see what's up. Woo! <gasps> Don't ask Bian about his no. escaping. But we already asked him. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we were actually we already did, did this rap. Have you had the album? Sorry. Like the Full. including the new record. How is it? It's 
Yeah. It's far. Yeah, I've recorded some songs there. It's far. How many? Uh, around how many records? No, he has a couple of tracks, so he hasn't selected. Mm. He has. He did a lot of songs. By a lot, yeah. how many do you mean? Like a number? Like 20 to 25, 30 there. Damn. That's for that project. Yeah. And, yeah. and there's a, yeah, a bunch of features. Mm. Crazy features. Trust. Trangushi and Bill. Names. <laughs> Drop two names. Fuck your NDA. <laughs> Fuck your NDA. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. Who? Ooh. No way. <laughs> Okay. Specula- speculation. Allegedly. Una allegedly. Una allegedly. Una you have to sawa. look in there allegedly. <laughs> By Jackie, yeah, you know. I know the features, yeah. Some yeah. of the features. Una I know some of the features. Una. But I feel like I had, most of those records, I had them earlier on. I'm sure he's added features. Yeah. There's a, he changed production on a couple of those songs. Like the, the, the song we like, a student, doesn't mm. have Nishinsky anymore mm. on it. But when it, when it drops, now I'll play the, the one that has Nishinsky. <laughs> but now, because now I can't play <laughs> it. <laughs> so <at> least, <laughs> now we'll play the one on the show. Yeah. Yeah, because he changed the whole thing. But I'm, I'm excited, Ben. I'm, I'm really excited for Ben. Mm. And for Soulfest. Bro. I'm a tour release date. I'm a bado. No. But he's, he started so teasing. Early next year, maybe. <laughs> This year, right? Oh, wow. Because he's doing blankets December 17th. Oh, so he has yeah, to drop. Oh, before. December 7th. December 17th. 17th. I think so. Yeah. yeah, December 17th. At least a single. At least a oh, single, right? That's them, okay. Yeah. But damn. But 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 I'm really excited, bro. I'm really excited. Me too. Bro. Yeah. I'm also I'm also interested to just see what the rollout for that would look yeah. like. I love, I, I, for some reason, I just love rollouts. Jesus, Bamba. Like, <laughs> I remember seeing him dancing. I'm like, hey, here we go. <laughs> Maybe I'm TikTok just eager to see what sure. Wana are going to do for him. Yes, and now Wana, bro. Mm. And now Wana. It's going to be crazy. Said Damn. our favorite upcoming artist. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> no, I can't wait. I really, I really can't wait. But there's, there's this festival called Hey Neighbors in South Africa. Yes. I haven't heard Kendrick. of it. That Tele is pushing. He's mm. part of it. My hands. Tele, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll relocate the lies. <laughs> In a BD. Just, it's sorry? It's credible, yeah. Blocker, louder, please. Blocker. No, 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 no. <laughs> a n- a new music end of this month as well. Blocker, please. <laughs> yes! I just plug that. Super. <laughs> yeah, you can have the chain smokers. Bro, chain smokers. Lamar. Um, Kendrick Lamar is sold out, right? Mm. That, day, that day specifically yes. sold out. Sold out. There's Chen Smokers, there's Ha. Mm. Who else is playing? South Soul are playing. I would crazy, kill yeah. for bro, that. This is for neighbors. Yeah, yeah neighbor. this is a neighbors. The one in South Africa, bro. It's like three, three days. Let me a three-day festival. Tell me some stuff here. Yeah. Let me see what. Tell sent me some stuff. Let me see. It's crazy. Hey, hey Tele, I was there for that Trevor Noah thing, so I'll never believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you were there. What you, I was the one waking yeah. him up. I was in the hotel with him. What? Yeah. Really? See, it was during COVID. Yeah. It was yeah. that pandemic. So me, I'm getting niggas calling me. Hey, Anam, Anam, blocker. Yeah. It's Tele, have you... Bro, I was at his door knocking. Boop, boop, boop. That's boop. insane. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, hey, bro. Guys are just saying... Guys are looking for you, Trevor Noah, this, Trevor Noah. <laughs> he, said, he said they were having a COVID meeting. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> Me, I was drinking with that guy. We <laughs> airport. <laughs> hey, nah, we were at Tribe. 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 Me, tribe. Tele, some politicians, kids, just enjoying COVID life. Bro. Bro. <laughs> so this <laughs> this is yeah. 8th, 10th December, Chain Smokers, Khalid, Kendrick Lamar, Swedish House Mafia. Damn! Hub, plus many more. VIP. Are you going, Blocker? Hi, Firefest, bro. This sounds... <laughs> <laughs> Suspect. Hey, Suspect. Blocker's God. Firefest. <laughs> Firefest 2 is already sold out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the it's sold out. <laughs> it's next year. Crazy. The event is sold out. They've not announced dates. They've not announced where. Oh. They just announced tickets. Oh. And it's sold out. Yes. Oh. Oh, no, guys just want to be featured on that Netflix. The next Netflix. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, at least this, this is legit for sure. No, it, it looks it's legit. legit, legit huh? yeah. Yeah. It's legit, And it has like global no. partners, like all the big And But now Kenyan artists just Saudi Soul. Saudi Soul. I've only yeah. seen Saudi Soul. And of course now, wait, I think they have Rema or someone. I think they also have Rema. Rema is not Kenyan. They have, no, fire. I'm just thinking of other African artists. Let's see. Bro, but this is going to be big. Shout out to Tele, man. Tele yeah, Maheni. Man. <laughs> Let me see. Tele, we enjoyed COVID time. Yeah. Tele, it was really entertaining. It is this, this banter. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I can't forget styles. Let like me... Hypnotic, I can go get the Kenyan China flag. Styles. As the funniest well, yeah. thing I've seen. I still have that video. Chaxi sat down with Tele for a whole hour and he still lied to his face. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so they have... So aside the names we mentioned, uh-huh. they have Nasty C. Nice. Uh, they have Uncle Waffles. 
So they have Sauti Sol, we mentioned Sauti, they have Tyler, they have Good Luck, whoever, they have, uh, hey, okay, some bands up too, Young Stana. I think they have the entire Black Motion. Mm. Dope. Bro, but I'm just like, this, this is, that's, that's several stages. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 bro, they have ooh, everyone. That's like, it's stages. insane, Shekaina. Nice. How comes we don't have this here? Me, we can't, af- we can't afford it. What do you mean we can't afford it? Not even afford to wake up to finish your stadium. No, but we, we don't. I don't. Think yeah, even Kasarani, you could do Kasarani. It's it would possible. be dope. It's possible. It's possible. I, don't it's think, possible. I don't think. I don't think we have the the bank roll though. though. Mm. But also, who's affording Kendrick? K- uh, Kendrick chain smokers high in Kenya. A Swedish house mafia. At the same time, bro. At Kasarani. The same time. If you filled up Kasarani and you did what tickets even five soccer k, I'm sure you could afford nah. this. Yeah. Five uh, five thousand. Uh, Five, no, even 500 bob. Nah. Uongo. Kasarani is how big? 60, 000. 000. 500 bob, bro. 500 bob. Think about just the fee. How much is Kendrick? Mm. Thanks. You're paying close Most to likely. maybe quarter million. Yeah. All right, okay. Plus. Let's let's not go Kendrick. But me, I'm thinking now like festivals. Here in Kenya, what? We only have... Billy the Babs. Yeah. Only. And, you know, that's my point. Yeah, and then we have uh, why is Oktoberfest. That? I, yeah, Which, at least that lineup. For where, obvious reasons. Yeah. But uh, now, which, where, where the other festivals here in Kenya? So we don't have festivals. Just have before, festivals. we used to have Rivali. You yeah. know, we used to have these other ones. But now... They're like proper, proper. Yeah. Honestly, the only proper festival yeah. we have is Beneath the Barbabs. Yeah. Where oh, you have October multiple first. stages, multiple yeah. days. Otherwise, yeah. we don't have them. October 1st, what do you think of the lineup? It's Good. insane. It's pretty decent. Everyone, yeah. Are you guys going? Me, I'm on the lineup. So I'm oh, you're hey. playing. Hey. Okay, brother. <laughs> which day? Which day? Which day? Which Sunday. Stage? Me, I'm Sunday. Sunday, the day for Nyash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nishinsky, yeah. I don't know, bro. I feel like I really want to see Nyashinsky and Diamond. But I want to see Nyashinsky. I'm just thinking of how many people are going to be there. I'm yeah, just like, let me stay in the house. Lot. Yeah, I'm too old, bro. Me, I'm, 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 now I'm just too old for this shit. Like, I really want to see them. Mm. So I don't know. Are you going? I might. Probably. I'm going to go just for work. If or two. Let's see. Talk to them. We'll see. But yeah. maybe just one day. I can't even go two days in a row. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Wait, so there's Nyashinsky, Diamond, one day. No, no, Different Diamond days. Sato, Nashinsky Sunday. Eh, okay, that's too much. Mm. That's already too much. Because we've also split them because they're both epic headliners. Yeah. I don't think having them on the same day would be prudent. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I don't know. As it stands, I'm, I'm not going. I miss you. But <laughs> near two hours, too many people, bro. I don't mm. know. But I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm saving, I'm saving my body for beneath the barbab so I can go do all the drugs. They say my two hours. Ah, so okay, anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now this guy knows where, when, why. <laughs> Alcohol give, is give a drug. Give them something to work I'm with. I'm just gonna drink all the... Give them something to work with. Hey. Yo. Is that Andudi? Is that landing here? That's Gideon That's Moy? Point. Gideon Moy. That's Moy. That's the point. Yeah. Oh, man is nice. Man is, man is loud. <laughs> yeah. Remember when <laughs> Kiara... <laughs> Remember... <laughs> yeah. Remember when Kiara Jiel kona sema Siji nana li mchokoza dhena kamwende anuwe ngozake na chopa tu. Fly over the compound. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, lastly, man, uh-huh. um, I did take some time to read the DMs on our... Mic check pages, mm-hmm. personal pages. Bro, half the DMs is just checkmates asking for job opportunities. Wow. Yeah. And I'm just like, shit, this is what we do. So I was just thinking, maybe the only way to solve it mm-hmm. is if there's checkmates who have vacancies, mm-hmm. just let us know. And mm-hmm. then we can always... Plug. Oh, yeah, plug. <coughs> but, eh, yeah, things are thick, bro. Mm-hmm. Guys don't have jobs, bro. Uh, cost of living is going up every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, new taxes every day. We're waking up to new taxes every day. Uh, Delayed. yeah, so if Delayed. you have a, an, a, yeah. vac- a vacancy, kindly reach out. Then we see if you're able to plug you with someone, absolutely, we'll do that. Mm. Yeah, anything else from you guys? Don't use razors on your butthole, <laughs> <laughs> Mwangi. Of the whole episode, that's your career. That's my Damn. Ah, did you guys see uh, Esther Pasari's picture? For Oof. posting that she was how, how old is she now? 60, 59. 59. 59? <laughs> Did you guys see that picture? Yeah. 60? Uh, 70, 60? <laughs> 69. Smash or fast? Ah, smash. Very yeah, fast. Sana. Very fast. Yeah. Hey. Hey, adopt a dick, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hey! <laughs> what? I'm Danny. 
<laughs> anyway, remember to get our tickets for November 12th. Exactly. If you haven't, there's links in all our socials. There's link. There's going to be a link in the description. Mm-hmm. Episode 107, we are Mark Chan. Over 26. <laughs> this is the Bag of Podcast. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Bag of Podcast. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>